Some people have problems with installing the newer chest base, so I thought I'd make a guide. I also updated the keygen because it was outdated. Once you've done and installed all the files needed, launch the setup. Make sure to turn off internet, by the way, because otherwise the keygen won't work. Okay, so now we launch keygen. It will take a little while to load. One thing I do want to mention though is um, when you actually get into... Okay, so now we generate, make sure to select the correct chest base. This works the same way for chest base 17 like I shared uh, previously. Copy them over. Fortunately for me at least, it doesn't... So, you have to copy it in parts, but takes like two seconds, it's fine. Make sure you install it. Select the correct drive you want to use for it. And then let me just paste it. Let's save the serial number. Because once we launch the program, the admin tool for will ask for it. But actually, you have to press um, you have to press the activate button once the program has started. And there's also the update here that we'll install. Alright, once it's finished. Yeah, yeah. We need to restart it afterwards uh, to get the registry updated. Okay, so you enter the shown above codes, and then you press OK. But we're not done yet. We have to actually launch the program. Now, one thing I do want to mention is to be able to update the program. I attached uh, the actual file here. Um, but if you want to, um, here we go, you have to click OK, yes, OK, enter the password, you, you need to have an account to be able to update it, if you want to do it that way, yes. Okay, nice. All right, so let's see. Yeah, here we go. We can update it here. Program activation. Now, one thing I do want to mention is sometimes it will ask you to um, activate it again, and sometimes you need to press the actual activate button to get through it. For example, if if the if the admin tool breaks and your serial number when you input it doesn't work. No way. As you can see, it's working. Okay, let's activate. Here we go. So he here's how you actually activate it. You need to press the activate button and then here so this hardware thing, you, you can just leave empty. Input uh, codes. You can press OK. And then here we go. Now you can activate it. So as you can see here, when we move it aside, it says activated. We need to actually have, like I, I have to turn off, you need to turn on the internet again and log in. That will fix most of the problems. That's that's why it's compla complaining for me. So let's connect.
right and now we can log in and so now when you click update it's here there we go we have the process and boom update I also attached a mega database which is a giant file so you might not need it but if you really want to get into specifics for learning chess if you're above like 1800 1700 then it's really useful to look up like uh, games for Mikhail Tal or Keresh Paul for example So as you can see here, it says activated and everything is working. We can, up, we can make a new database. I already have mine locally saved, so but I haven't in, input them here yet. So um, if you want to add an engine to it, um, in my previous video in ChessPay 17, I showed you you can download it, and when you go to board. And you have add kibitzer, and you can you can add it here. Engine management is where you add it if you have it. All right, that's everything. Hope it worked for you. If you have any problems, let me know. All right, that's everything. I hope. Ev All right, that's everything. I hope it worked for you. If you have any questions regarding any engines or any problems you encounter, feel free to message me, and I'll I'll try to reply as fast as I can. Good luck, guys.